Okay, this is just a short video to take you through the new gear tracker feature, which is configurable screens. You'll see we're at the gear tracker home screen at the moment. If we scroll to the far left, you'll see layout there. We select that, and this will take you into the layout editor. You'll see the first screen we come to is our typical GPS information tracking screen. If we go right, we'll see lap information, pace distance duration, and these will look very familiar to most of you. We've got heart rate information, elevation, and some battery and cadence information. If we go back to the GPS screen, you'll see if we scroll to the left, there are some options to start configuring these screens. So we have a theme and a style. A bit further left, we can select which screen we're configuring. So at the moment, we're configuring the tracking screen. And we can go through these. You can configure a log screen, view log screen, the pause pop-up screen, and the lap screen. Go to the, to the far left, there's an option to reset layout. So if I click that, if you're halfway through it and you want to go back to where you were, you just reset it and put it back to the gear tracker defaults. Help. There's a bit of information here on everything we're about to go through. So if you want to go back to there for reference. And this chart window setting um, will come, come back to in a minute. So we're editing the, editing the tracking layout. You'll see at the moment we've got the default gear tracker theme and styling the high average and low values with font a font color styling. If you want to change that theme, we just tap it and you'll see we've got an LCD theme, a whole range of themes here. We've got orange, lime, red, and you'll see as I flick through them, it'll change the styling to suit. The black and white theme and back to default. In conjunction with a the theme, we can flick through different styles. So you'll see here's a radial gradient. And you'll see over here, the values, the max, min, and average values are styled accordingly. And if we go back to something different, you'll see that those styles will be applied. That's just a border color. Um, so you can just choose whatever style you like. It just helps quickly identify what is an average high and low value or a standard value um, during your activity. I prefer just the font color but um, yeah, you can choose what suits. So we go over to these screens and we can configure each of these sections. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six different sections you can configure. Tracking, uh, typically when you start tracking, gear tracker will start on the third screen. So essentially somewhere in the middle. So this will be the screen that you will start tracking on. You'll have a couple of screens to your left to configure and then a couple of screens or a few screens on your right to configure. Okay, <clears throat> so essentially each one of these sections can be modified um, and each measure within it can be modified. So for instance, here's our main tracking screen. We've got average pace at the moment. Uh, some people have asked for average speeds, real-time pace, a combination of both heart rate, you can configure this however you like. Essentially, you just click on the measure you want to change. It'll pop up with a list of measures that you can drop in there. So if you wanted to put in the time, you can drop the time in there. If you want to say put in something else, let's have a look here. Let's go for speed, kilometers per hour. So that's the speed. Or you may want just your average speed. You can drop that in there. Again, if you don't want it there, um, you want to put average pace in here as well. This is totally up to you um, where you want your information. So now we've got duration, average pace, and average kilometers per hour. Um, and you may choose to put distance somewhere else. So let's go back here. This is all lap information at the moment, but it can be whatever you choose it to be. And say we want just distance in here. We can scroll down and find distance. Uh, scroll up, duration, distance. Drop it in there. So you essentially put anything you like on these screens. In conjunction with dropping in whichever measure you like, if you hold your finger on these screens, you can actually change the layout. 
So this is the layout we've currently got selected for this screen. And you can see I can just flip through some different ones. I may just want a big value and a small value, or I may want to look for something with more information on it. So we've got average kilometers, average pace. We might decide we want the average kilometers per hour over here. So we'll go and grab that. And we want this to be distance. And we drop duration down the bottom. That's simple. Hold my finger on the screen again, it'll pop back up and we can run through some different options. So we've got a small value, just splits the screen differently, as you can see. Another one pushes it the other way. A uh, couple of large values. You get lots of information on your screen. You can put six values on this one and so on. Um, so you just choose the screen you want, tap on it, and it will drop it in place. If you go down a bit further, you'll see there's this special layout for laps. So if you want lap information, uh, this will display each each lap. You'll see the first laps at the bottom, right? and the last laps at the top. So lap four, five, six it will just keep popping to the top and the rest will get pushed down and these are scrollable. So you can put whatever you like in here. Um, you'll notice just before I show you that, that on the lap screen the titles are inverse. So inverse titles signify that it's a lap measure and will show you the information relating to the current lap. So if I go here, uh, these are overall right? overall distances um, for the at that point in the run as you can see so the one kilometer laps one two three but if I want to lap specific information scroll to the top I'm in the standard measures at the moment tap the title and it'll give me this jump list and I can jump down to lap measures now I may want to put uh, in there my lap pace so you see the pace for each lap, and over here I may put in um, the speed. These are averages, obviously, because they're green. Um, again, you can put whatever you like in there. You may want heart rate. You might want your max heart rate or average heart rate uh, for each lap. So if I scroll to the bottom, I think you can find them here. Average heart rate. So now you've got your average heart rate for each lap. Hold my finger again, and we can go back to where we started. So essentially each one of these screens can be configured in the same way. Again, hold your finger here and you just switch to whichever screen suits you. Okay. So in conjunction with that, um, you'll see that I can now switch over to a view log layout. And if I go back over here, you'll notice that it's all changed. Um, because these screens are specific for viewing the log after your activity and this one here is not filled out it's just empty at the moment but you can go and choose whatever you like in there you may want to pop up here got heart rate elevation battery information gps information so you may choose you know, gps latitude that one doesn't really suit it so we're going to find a layout that does there you go, a bit more information, and so on. And we might put in here, say, GPS mode, whether we're tethered or not. Or, like down here, you can stick a little GPS status icon on there. <clears throat> Again, you can put whatever you like. Um, in this case, we're looking in the view log screen, so a GPS status icon doesn't really make much sense, or the GPS latitude, because it's going to be the last latitude, but um, you, know, you can put other stats in there. You can drop graphs in um, where they're available, so we'll drop a graph in here. Find a screen that's uh, appropriate for a graph with a bit of space in it. And then here we'll go up and we'll put in uh, a graph for GPS accuracy, for instance, or we can put heart rate. There's a few different graphs available. Um, now, when we go in and actually view this log, you'll get this layout 
and you'll see the actual graph rendered into that area there. So we can also edit the pause screen, but you will notice there's only one screen to edit with pause. Um, you may want, you know, again, when you're paused, uh, your heart rate or your average heart rate displayed on here, um, just whatever information you choose. And there's a few different layouts you can choose for pause, bigger, um, bigger numbers and so on, or just a two measure split. And you'll notice on these screens that the bottom measure can't be modified, that's reserved for the button. So obviously during pause you've got a finish button, during lap completion you've got a finish button that goes in there, so uh, it's reserved for that. Um, and also you can change your lap screen, so you'll see over here inverse titles, signify that we're in a lap. Now if I change the theme, let's go to a line theme, you'll notice same thing but the titles are inversed again. Um, and you may want different information on your lap pop up. So again, you can just go and choose whatever you want. I want your battery level in there. Okay. Lastly, uh, you'll see this chart window. This effectively allows you to set how much information shows on a selected chart. Over here we've added in, we go back to the view log screen. But we'll have a chart rendered in here and it basically lets you choose how much information you want to see in there. So for instance, if you're in a tracking screen configuration um, and you've got a heart rate graph, you may only want to see the last 10 or 15 minutes just to see how your heart rate is tracking. Obviously the more data you put in there, the more squashed and less relevant and easy it'll be to see. And you can put all data. So shoot back over to the activity logs. Pick an activity, view log. You'll see this is the screen configuration that we just set for the view log screen um, and if we go to the right we should see is a GPS accuracy chart rendered in there um, and we only have a short window of data there when you're in the view log you can actually also to the left change your styling and your theme and your chart window and so on within here uh, the difference being in here is that you are you can change it and visualize it against real data, uh, whereas in the other layer editors against sample data. All right. Essentially, uh, that's how you configure your screens in Gear Tracker. I uh, hope the video was helpful. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy using it. Thank you.